Yeah, good day YouTube. It's Michael once again. Um, this time with uh, a video to just let you know that I'm still alive and I'm still around and um, yeah, I, I haven't forgotten you, uh, forgotten you, something like that. But um, I've got a lot to do at my new job, which is a full-time developing job and um, well, that takes a lot of my time away. And it so happens that I, I've met a real nice boy, a, c a cute fellow, whose name is Darko, and this is just sort of the greeting to Darko right here. And he happens to like this monster energy drink, and uh, yeah, I didn't know this en energy drink before, so I've got him a can, and um, you know me, um, I, I happen to uh, take a look, take a glance at um, the ingredients list, and um, on well, most of those products you have a, an English uh, ingredients list as well, but not on this one, so I have to translate it to you. And there's a few items, uh, one in particular, um, yeah, that really got my attention, and it's uh, benzoesoil, which is benzoic acid in English, uh, yeah, which is made, uh, well, can be synthesized um, with this reaction by, well, I mean, using toluene. And this whole thing is an oxidation. Um, you see, there's three three oxygen molecules going away. Oh man! <clears throat> and this makes benzoic acid. And uh, I'd like to try it myself. I mean, uh, synth synthesizing that stuff. And what I need is manganese oxide and sulfuric acid. And those are the two uh, chemicals on the list I don't have. This is mangan oxide and this is Schwefelsäure uh, in German. So, for all you German fellows out there. And the funny thing is what really got my attention is um, you, you read this, this ingredients list and you, you... I mean, most of us happen to glance at those lists, but um, reading Benzoesäure is something that is really, um, yeah, well, a little thrilling because it's, it's made with uh, toluene and this is uh, a really aggressive um, uh, organic solvent and this stuff is really a, a killer and I, uh, I even had to sign for it when, when I got it um, because you can make a, a, whole, a, a whole of um, bad things with it you can make TNT out of this, trinitrotolol, um, yeah well TNT, this, you know, this explosive and you can use it to th synthesize a lot of drugs um, uh, yeah, it's used in a lot of uh, drug synthesizing uh, processes. Uh, this is why it is uh, sort of a little under closer looks by the government right here in Germany. I don't know about you fellows how you get this stuff, but um, that's the point. And ah, one of uh, ingredient uh, uh, I have is nitrium citrate, uh, which is quite harmless. But this is also what's what's in the drink. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in this drink. And the funny thing about those. Um, Additives, those those yeah, food additives we have here, which in Germany are most 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 of the time are just uh, yeah encoded in those E numbers, E something something. But on this drink, and that's something that really it's really interesting. They thought by not using those E numbers, yeah, well, there's one E number, E one hundred sixty-three. I could look it up what it is now, but um, this is the one E number on this string, E one hundred sixty-three. Yeah, and the rest is just spelled out, which is quite unusual because uh, most of the time uh, they tend to just um, encode it in E numbers. It's a lot shorter, E something something something. And it's uh, less uh, conspicuous, but um, I guess those people think we are all dumb idiots. And if we read it, we like to read fancy words, and we just uh, keep to well, keep pulling the stuff into our stomachs and not even thinking about what it is. So this is what um, what I don't really accept, and this is why I at least try to synthesize um, benzoic acid, and I want to know the stuff. Uh, I mean, it's probably quite aggressive, and it's it's probably not something you would, would like to eat, and I just want to see it with my own eyes, what it is, the substance. And I gotta show you, and I gotta show Darko, and, well, the point of this video mainly was that um, I'll let you know that I'm still there and I'm planning something for you here. 
Although for for larger projects, I don't really have the time at the moment. Well, I have this my new relay card. Uh, I designed a new relay card layout. Um, this one, and as you can see, um, I've got the layout. I edged and drilled the board, and I even have mounted a few few parts on this. But uh, that's just about it. Um, it would lead, need a lot of work to to actually finish to actually get some summer here because people like my relay card and um, I thought I'd just uh, yeah make a new version out of it yeah this is but this can take a lot of time so it's just a glance uh, just to let you know that uh, I haven't completely forgotten you or given given out my, my hobby here but um, I guess the next time it's from me you will get more videos like like interesting scientific facts or, or something you eat and drink all day or stuff like that um, I guess um, that's what I will do it doesn't take such a great amount of time but for, uh, in this example I need to get the ingredients the, um, um, the chemicals and this can be a quite a pain in the ass uh, in this in this co uh, country anyways so can take a few days uh, and until I even get the chemicals and then we can go ahead and try what we can make out of it. So, uh, yeah, it'd be nice from you to drop me a line, a comment or something, appreciate that I'm still here or something like that and uh, maybe make a suggestion what you w would like to know and I maybe could do. And I wish you a nice evening, thanks for watching and um, well, see you soon.